All right, so went to my local uh, gun store, Rainier Arms, and got me a new rifle from Citadel. Citadel. I obviously already opened it. Just came with a blue piece of plastic. This is the rifle. Sorry, my dog in the background. Citadel Tracker Tracker 22. I don't think this uh, buttstock is collapsible. It does have slots for um, for your sling. Has decent sights on there. Green in the rear. These are adjustments right here for uh, elevation and windage on the side. And you got a hooded, you know, protected front sight. It's red. Sorry for the mess, guys, but below pretty nice. Uh, came with a rail already as well. Optics ready, off the box. And then I realized. After I bought it, it's actually threaded already. See, this is a thread protector. Didn't even notice until a little bit ago when I opened it the third time. It's interesting. Yeah, it's, uh, so out the box, pretty awesome little rifle in 22. I got it for my son, really, so he can plink. Uh, you know, it's a little bit more lightweight than the 22 I have now for him. Let's charge it down. Extended already. Huh. Now, I don't know if these are M-Lock. It looks like it might be. Didn't say anything about it. Usually, when something's M lock, it'll tell you right away. Barrel doesn't look. I don't think it's touching anywhere inside the, the stock, so that's also good, I guess, right? Accuracy. Overall, it's a really nice rifle. Uh, I think it was under. Yeah, it was like under 200 bucks. Of course, state of Washington. You know, they gotta take their cut, right? I had to pay like what? 18 bucks for some crazy tax that they put on everything. Uh, I don't know what to do with that money. Does it help anybody? Or just lie in somebody's pockets? Who knows? But anyway, that's enough of that. Let's just enjoy the rifle. Can't wait to take it out shooting this weekend. Okay, one more thing about this uh, rifle, right? This uh, Citadel Tracker uh, did come with one, I believe it's a 10 rounder magazine. Uh, this is a bit interesting. Uh, you gotta reach in there and uh, Yeah, the release is right there. I don't like that. Ugh. Doesn't even drop free, really. So that's one hit on this already. But other than that, it's not too bad of a rifle. But yeah, there's a little release button right here. You gotta push down. Right there. See that? That's a mag release in there. This right here. Help if I put it the right way. Away. That's the way it looks with the mag in it. It's 
to release it. You gotta kind of squeeze it. And it comes out. And another thing to hold the, uh, the action open, right? You pull to rear, push towards, down towards the receiver. If you're heavy this way. And that locks it open. Uh, pull back and up, release it. But yeah. Uh, might be a pain to find these kind of mags though. So we'll see. So I wanted to actually show a uh, you know, from this angle, dropping the magazine, right? So it's not hard. It's not a drop, uh, drop free magazine. You're not, you're not gonna push on something that's gonna fall out. You gotta actually put your thumb in here, grab the magazine, and then pull it out, right? right. It's not so difficult, right? right? I'm looking through a I'm looking through my camera's phone and doing it, so it's not it's not too difficult, right? You just put your thumb in here, grasp it, pull out at the same time. It's not bad. And this is a standard. Uh, if I didn't say it before, it's a standard cross bolt safety. You know, one of those type of deals is, uh, you know, red, you're dead. You know, you fire. It's not safe. And then again. To hold the bolt open, you're gonna pull it back to the rear and push in towards the receiver. Okay? And then to release it, you pull back again, lift it up or lift it out. You can let it go or ride it forward, whatever. Um, and it does a last round hold open. All right, so last round, it's gonna hold open. All right.